I used to always love going in quite often before six in the morning and just watching the sunlight and just sort of seeing the birds come out, chirping and, and, and just those colours that you see. Definitely one of the moments I look forward to uh, the most in the morning. There's a company that was originally called Garden City Coffee, so it actually had a hummingbird already in the logo. We rebranded to Hummingbird. And I think what it stands for is we've always been very much a uh, product-led company. We roast every origin individually before blending up to create like really memorable and distinctive coffees. I think historically it's almost been, if, if you're purchasing a coffee ethically then you'd have to sacrifice quality, that, that, that's not the case, you can still get great quality coffee that's also ethically sourced. One of the key anchors to, to the sensory profile of the brand but also one of our longest standing trading partners has been uh, Otomea in um, Ethiopia. So. It's a really, really important area for us. Um, it delivers such a distinctive flavour and it's, it kind of makes up the anchor to what makes Hummingbird Hummingbird. Quite often most people just get the coffee in a cafe, they don't understand the amount of human interaction with it as well. Not, not only just the roasting component, but also you know, a lot of the coffee is hand-picked, hand-sorted. There's a lot of human interactions before it gets into the cup. It's a real powerful, optimistic, I suppose, feeling that I get every morning. No matter what happened the day before, you can kind of, I think you've always got the ability to kind of create something and do something meaningful. Nick Cowper, I am uh, one of the founders of uh, Hummingbird Coffee. I've been here for over 20, 20 years. Love coffee, you can see almost a lifetime in it because it's just always changes and always evolves and it's always different.